This guide will demonstrate how to download, import, and set up the 2024 Dash Planner. To use the planner, you will also need a PDF annotating app. The most popular choices are GoodNotes 5, GoodNotes 6, and Notability. Once you've purchased the planner via Etsy or directly from our website, you will be given access to an interactive download dashboard PDF file. If you purchase this planner before December, you will also be given a mini version of the planner dated for the remainder of 2023. Tap to open the dashboard. The download dashboard is an interactive hub where you can build and download your planner. It is also where you can access your planner accessories such as the included digital stickers and covers. If you're not able to interact with the buttons and links of the dashboard, you might need to use a finger instead of the Apple Pencil to tap the links. If you purchase the version of Dash Planner with shortcuts, your dashboard will have an additional button for setting up the integration. I'll go over that step at the end of this video. Let's build your digital planner. The first step is to choose which orientation you'd like the planner in. There's landscape orientation and portrait orientation. The next step is to choose which weekly layout you'd like to use. You can tap on the different thumbnails and it'll open a preview of the layout so you can see them in greater detail. Once you've selected a weekly layout, you'll then get to pick your daily layout. There's a classic daily page, as well as a bullet daily page, which is essentially just a blank bullet notes page that you can use for creating your own layouts, memory keeping, journaling, taking daily notes. The options are pretty endless with this layout. If you don't need daily pages at all, you can tap this option here to remove them. Once you've chosen your daily page, you'll get to choose between light mode and dark mode. You also get to choose if you want the months and the weeks to start on Monday or Sunday. Making this last selection will instantly download your chosen planner. The planner file will download to your iPad's download folder. Tap on the planner file to open it. Select the share icon in the upper right corner. Choose your note app from the pop-up. If you do not see your app listed, scroll all the way until you see more and choose your app from the complete list. This will open the planner file in your app. You can rename the planner if you'd like or choose a specific folder to save the planner to. Now that we have the planner open, I'll be going through some digital planner basics. When you first download your app, most note apps default display is set to vertical scroll. I like to change this to horizontal scrolling so that it feels more like an interactive planner and less like a list of pages. In Notability, this is found under View Settings and is called Single Page. The first page after the cover is the planner's index. Here is where you can see all of the planner's pages and sections at a glance. You can return to this page from anywhere in the planner by tapping on the index icon in the upper right corner. If you see the toolbar, that means you are in editing mode. In order to tap on any of the planner's hyperlinks, you will need to enter read-only mode, which will then allow you to tap on any of the hyperlinks. If you don't want to hop back and forth between editing modes, you can also tap and hold on a link and select Open Link. The best way to get around the planner is to utilize the convenient hyperlinks. The month tabs on the side quickly take you to each month's section. Each month has a calendar plus additional monthly planning pages. 
These pages are there if you'd like to get super detailed with your monthly planning, but if you don't need them, you can simply ignore them. From the calendar, you can also tap on a week's number to go to that week's page or a day's number to go to that daily page. Each week has an overview and a weekly prep page. This weekly prep page is great for reviewing your previous week and preparing for the week ahead. This year, I've added these handy arrow buttons for easily navigating from week to week. You can also access the daily pages by tapping on a date in the weekly view and tapping view week to return back to the week. To fill out the planner, you can use the pen tool to write in your notes and plans. You can also use the onboard keyboard or an external keyboard to type in your planner as well. For the many included templates, you can access them directly from the index or by tapping on the template icons in the bottom right corner. You can use the templates in the original spot or you can copy, paste, and move the pages anywhere in the planner. Say you want to add a workout log next to your weekly page. Simply copy the workout log template and navigate back to your week. From here, tap the Add Page icon and Paste Page. Now when you open your weekly layout, your workout log is located one swipe to the right. This can be done to any of the other page templates in the planner, allowing you to customize the planner to your needs. In Notability, pages can be copy and pasted from within the Pages tab. To help you organize all these pages, the planner comes with eight section dividers. It helps to think of these sections like the dividers in a notebook or binder. Label the section and paste in any notepaper or page templates you'd like. Now when you click on the arrow next to the section, you can easily locate all the pages you have related to that category. Here are some examples and inspiration you can use when choosing your sections. This planner comes with over 1400 digital stickers. The stickers are available in three formats, a sticker book for good notes, collection files for good notes elements, and individual PNG files to use in all other note apps. Download the sticker book file and import into good notes using the same process we used for the planner. Once imported into GoodNotes, you'll be able to use the hyperlinks to navigate through all the sticker options. Once you've found a sticker you'd like to use, select the Lasso tool. You'll want to double check to make sure that Images is turned on in the Lasso settings, or you won't be able to select the sticker. Draw a rough selection around the sticker and tap copy. Go back to your planner and go to the page where you'd like to use the sticker. Tap to paste the sticker. 
You can resize, rotate, and move the sticker however you'd like. I've found that in GoodNotes, stickers can sometimes become slightly crooked when they're resized. So I like to switch over to the Images tool to resize the sticker without any warping. If you prefer using the Elements feature in GoodNotes, select the Collections option to download. You'll want to make sure that you unzip this folder first by tapping on it before heading back over to GoodNotes. In GoodNotes, tap on the Elements tool and scroll all the way to the plus sign. Choose Import From, locate your desired color from your downloads, and tap Create. If you're using Notability, Noteshell, or any other Note app, you can use the individual sticker files in your planner. Download the individual PNG zip file from the downloads dashboard. If the file saves to your Files app as a zip file, tap to uncompress the folder. Once unzipped, you'll find a folder for each color of stickers. In this example, I'll be using Notability. With your planner open, open your Files app in a second window. You can float this window or open it in a split screen. Locate the sticker you'd like to use, long press, and move the sticker over to your planner. You can then move, resize, and rotate the sticker as desired. To change the color of the planner's cover, download and import the cover PDF as its own document. Once opened, navigate to the cover you'd like to use. Copy the page and go back to your planner, navigating to the cover page. Paste in the new cover page and delete the old cover. To change the cover and notability, use the same steps we used when copy and pasting page templates. If you're using the GoodNotes app, you can add a shortcut to open your planner directly from your iPad's home screen. In the download dashboard, navigate to the user guide and choose the home screen option from the left column. Tap on the button to download the included matching icon images. Once downloaded, tap on the shortcuts icon folder to unzip the icon images. Open your Shortcuts app and tap the Add button at the top. Search for GoodNotes in the search bar and find your planner from the list. This list pulls from your recently opened documents, so if you don't see your planner, close Shortcuts, go back to GoodNotes, open your planner, and try it again. Once your planner is selected, tap the info icon and select Add to Home Screen. Here is where you can name the shortcut and change the icon. Tap on the default icon and select Choose File. Navigate to where you saved the icon images, 
probably your downloads folder, and select which icon you'd like to use. Tap Use and then Add. This will add a custom icon to your home screen that you can tap to quickly open your planner. You can also drag the icon to your dock so that you can quickly access the planner from any app. If you purchase the version of the Dash Planner with Shortcuts integration, you will see a Step 2 in the Download Dashboard homepage. Once your planner is all set up, tap on the Setup Integration button. This will open a web page with everything you need to set up the shortcut. I don't want to overload you with information in this video, so at the top of that page there is a video that will show you the specific steps for downloading the shortcut. Just below it is the button you will need to tap to download the Dash Planner shortcut. If you are getting this error message, that means the shortcut has not been installed and you will need to complete the instructions on this page. Once installed, you may get a pop-up in your app. Just hit allow or open in Safari and it will continue to run the shortcut. If you need a refresher on any of these steps, you can reference the user guide included in the download dashboard. You can also check out the user guide I put out in the past that goes over the dated pages and page templates in greater detail. If there's anything in particular you would like to see an in-depth video on, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. And until next time, happy planning!